Hey everyone, this is Elias from Revmatch Media, and today we're gonna take a look at the 2022 BMW M240i. Now, this little car has big shoes to fill from the previous generation. Well, let's see if it can do that. Let's get started. We get started in the front, and uh, yeah, let's address it right off the bat. We still have the more traditional BMW kidneys. We'll get to that in a little bit, but we have the BMW LED headlights. These things are awesome. I do love the new shape that we have with this. We get over to the BMW kidneys and, or the grill, and these are a little bit different. They look like blinds. <laughs> And when you put it in sport mode and it needs more air in, they will actually go ahead and, and open up. When they don't need to, they go ahead and close. It is really awesome to, to set them off. And we do have the front facing camera, really good when you wanna get really close to that parking spot and not damage the front. We have these triangle shapes down here for the cooling openings. This does have the shadow line uh, trim, and I believe that is the better option. So you do get this in black, and they just look really good. I know, this car in pictures just doesn't look right sometimes, but I can tell you in person, this thing looks awesome. I do love this front end, and I'm glad they went this route with the designing of the kidneys and not the, or the grill and not the longer that you have in the three series well uh let's go ahead and see what we have under this nicely sculpted hood well actually before we do that midnight color this thing it's purple it's a metallic purple and it looks so damn good this is definitely the color i would go for my two series with that note let's go ahead and see what we have under this nicely sculpted hood we take a look under the hood and we have the 3.0 liter twin power turbo inline six cylinder. Now this thing is cranking out 382 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. That's going through the eight speed automatic and to the X drive system. This thing has been incredible. The power delivery is always available. No matter at what revs that you're on, it sounds so good too. This thing really sounds good. I don't know if I'd want maybe a, a more power to this. Oh, I hate to say that um, because I feel like the balance this currently has is really good. And I hate to say this too, but I think I'd prefer the automatic uh, transmission. I don't know if putting, if well, be, right now they haven't announced anything with manual, but I don't know if I'd want a, a manual transmission in this. The automatic is really good. The shifts are really nice and, and sharp when they need to be, calm when they need to be, and they just it, it just really works well with this drivetrain. The other thing as well that's really nice is that you do have some fairly good gas mileage. Uh, so we're dealing with 26 combined, 23 uh, city, and 32 highway. Uh, eco mode actually works really good in this. It's very calm. Uh, but sport mode, which is probably where uh, I am most of the time, uh, you'll see your miles per gallon drop a little bit, but it's, it's overall a really great power plant. This thing is unbelievable. Well, let's go ahead and see what we have in those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have the 19 inch option and we have the 225 40 in the front and we have the 255 35 in the rear. Those tires are the Pirelli P0s and these things are really good. Uh, they are fairly quiet uh, for performance tire and they really have the grip. So they definitely have the grip, even in the colder, in the colder weather, surprisingly, because sometimes I've had P0s not really like the cold, but this have, have been really good. And the power distribution with the X-Drive has been amazing. The other thing with this is the adaptive suspension. Boy, <laughs> can you really feel a difference from comfort? This thing is driving on clouds, really 
really easy to to kind of just go over a bump and not feel it but when you're in that sport mode you're going to feel the road and that's exactly what you want in a sport mode so really really great setup when it comes to that the brakes this is the painted blue caliper uh, i don't know if i'd go blue um uh, maybe red you know just to go with the purple uh, but the performance of the brakes are good for this trim what i mean by that is uh, i still have the reference point of the cs uh, from you know previous m2 cs and that had the carbon ceramic brakes those things you tapped on the brakes and they were biting uh, so definitely uh, i, I kind of have to remember this isn't that extreme performance of a vehicle but it does feel like it's up there so i probably go with a brake upgrade but yeah it, overall it's been a, a great great package well let's see what we have on the side we get to the side and we can see this thing has that roadster two-door nice look to it and i do love the proportions i feel like they did shift a little bit more maybe more towards the front and this was a little bit further out but yeah we have the nice hood here again we have nice great sculpting lines there the 19 inch wheels that look really nice the proportions of this are really really good and again we have these just really nicely sculpted lines on the body on the side we do have these kind of like grayish bronze yeah they're like a it's it's a flat color but the mirrors look really good in this and we do have kind of like the the m style mirrors on this which is nice as well really nice is the uh, door handle so this is flush with the door and uh we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the keyless entry option soon but overall i do love the shape of this and uh yeah you can see a little bit of the tail lights which we'll definitely get to because um yeah that's a that's a big talking point with this new car let me go ahead and grab the key fob from the side yeah because this guy is wanting to do different things so as soon as so i'm actually going to go ahead and put the key fob in my pocket and as soon as i get near it yeah we're already unlocking which is good it's good that way i can just get close to it i don't have to have my my key fob in my hand to unlock uh, and i can just pull here and we're good to go frameless windows as well or frame a frameless glass which is nice touch looks really good and it's definitely durable you can grab it from the very corner with no issues and there we go so uh yeah now let's go ahead and move over to the back and talk about that little detail back there we take a look at the back and the biggest change with the new 2 series is the tail lights and kind of this rear end here but the <laughs> i posted this in my car group on facebook uh, and i got the comment that the rear looks like sid the sloth's face um yeah i can see that in pictures but what's crazy is and i hope i can capture it better but in real life it doesn't it looks really good i i will be the first one to tell you i thought it was the worst design i thought it looked really bad i did not like the change in the rear with those taillights until i saw it in person and when i saw it in person i realized wow this car does not photograph well or or video and i hope i can capture it well but i do love these taillights they are nice because they do come out of the housing so to speak or kind of come out of the the body lines here so i do love this design it looks good guys i promise i promise it does look good uh we have the nice m240i badge there and we have the dual exhaust coming out here now i hate to report those kind of design that kind of design you have there is not the true exhaust so or the exhaust tip so the tip does go a little bit further back um but yeah it you, you really can't tell so i'll let it pass but it does look good and this kind of rear uh diffuser back here just this this rear bumper area here is a nice touch to it it really has 
nice lines in the rear. And this little spoiler, although it's super tiny, it just adds so much to it. It, it breaks up that line and just gives it that little oomph <laughs> that, that it really needs. And again, we have the X-Drive system, so uh, you know we can deliver power to all four wheels. Now, let's take a look at the key fob. Unfortunately, there isn't a remote start built into the key fob. I don't know if, I mean, I tried, I looked in the menus, I looked uh, online, I just couldn't find it. Uh, but, you know, you go ahead and you can unlock the, the trunk. And I will tell you, there is a ton of space in this trunk. The usability is really there to the point that, you know, I said I was going to make a Home Depot run and I've had uh, I've had a pickup truck with this, you know, at the same time of a press car. And it I said, no, we're going to go ahead and and do our Home Depot run in the BMW. And we were able to get a step ladder and put it down, put the back seats down and get it through with no problem. Yes, we were those people that everyone with a pickup truck was looking at me and my dad, uh, but we got it in. <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in and go for a ride. You get inside of the M240 and it is very European, very BMW. Let's get started with the door. So the door is a nice shape. It has, you know, these leather uh, wrapped areas, nice blue stitching on this one. And it does have some cool things on the door itself. So it does have like this like LED light panel here, uh, which you can change as part of the ambient lighting that you can change in the system here. And it's nice, it's not too bright. So you really only see it or can experience it when it's a little bit on the darker side. Uh, the door a little bit back has this like really cool pattern to it uh, that just just adds more than just having you know a solid piece of plastic so to speak so it, that was a nice touch to have there but we get over to the seat itself and this is extremely comfortable there is so much to uh, this seat i i love it i love this seat it does have the uh adjustments it does have the heated option. It does have uh, the adjustment for the side bolsters. Uh, so, you know, if you're deciding to go a little bit more on the spirited drive, it can hug you a little bit more. It's been extremely comfortable. The heated side though is okay. And the reason why is because where the actual like seating surface is or where they put the heating element, it's really not that big or, or wide. So it's it is a little bit more on the concentrated like a uh, little point we had 20 degree like 25 degree weather the other day and uh, hence my christmas sweater but it just i, I turned it on because it was really cold and i it was uncomfortable like it literally felt like it was only on my spine and i, I don't know i i didn't like that uh so i did have to turn it off and just relied on the heater itself uh, but yeah overall the the seat has tons of adjustability uh, lets me sit really really low uh, because that's usually how I like to sit and yeah uh, it's I don't know if a helmet would fit in here so I definitely need to test that out <laughs> but uh, probably because of the sunroof we get to the wheel and this thing is awesome uh, I feel like this has changed since the M2 that I drove. Uh, one of the things, so we have our cruise control on the left, we have our radio things on the right. And what I mean by that is the typical way of BMW changing radio stations. Uh, before it was typically you press the button and it shows you next track or previous track, and then you have to choose it. It kind of sucked. Because that way you have to basically do two functions. But with this, you just press the next button and it gets it going. It actually, they actually have it here, which is good. No complaints there. And when you go ahead and take a look at the wheel itself, nice big leather wrap wheel. Uh, it has the paddle shifters. The paddle shifters are really good in this. They're nicely placed. There's no concerns of, you know, my fingers not reaching it. Uh, when you're turning the wheel, it works 
uh, as far as like being able to ergonomically reach it. So I've been impressed with this wheel. I love it. You have the heated option down here, which is a nice touch to it as well. We get to the gauge cluster and this is where I'm a little um, confused because it, I feel like the M5, yeah, granted it's an M5 and it's a higher model, but I guess I was just spoiled with that, uh, that the gauges themselves changed. But here you can only change, or at least, I, I don't know, YouTube, um, internet people, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can help me out, but all I'm seeing here is the option of changing a little panel there, uh, which isn't bad, but I don't know. I don't know if I like the, the kind of opposing brackets for speedometer and tachometer. Uh, I haven't gotten used to it. Uh, I'm sure I will, but it, it's not there of my favorite, so to speak. But we have that. Uh, I do have the horsepower and torque measures, which are nice there. Little meters, you know, always those fun little things to have there. We come over to the infotainment system and it's nice. It's the BMW system. It's, you know, Apple CarPlay, widescreen Apple CarPlay, which is nice. Um, so I've, I've been in that 90% of the times. I don't believe I've really gotten out of it, but yeah, that's where it's been. And this is connected to the Harman Kardon system that this has. And that thing is loud. It's loud, it's clear. It is really, really good. I love Harman Kardons. <laughs> so it works really well. Uh, the backup camera system is good as well on this. Uh, you're able to see the dimensions of the, of the car. So no complaints when it comes to that. We come down here to the AC controls and they are really nice really simple i've been able to really get to and change any mode that i need to with no concern my favorite thing about this too is the max defrost for the front windshield i was so impressed at how good it was because the other day again we had 20 or so degree weather and the actual front windshield was frosted i pushed that guy and it almost immediately started working uh, to see the, the frost coming off. So really big praise on that. And then we have our radio controls here. I uh, haven't really used these because again, we have them here on the, on the wheel. So no complaints there. We get down to the wireless charger area and this thing works really well. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's on there. It's not going to move. It does Apple wireless apple carplay which is good definitely want to have that and it works no complaints there uh only thing is it is a little tough to get to so if you have cups uh you know to get out and put in to the charging area so cups come out first phone goes in and cups come out phone goes out <laughs> so you have that and the cup holders are good uh, no complaints there you do have your usb a connection here uh, for the uh, wired option if you want to go that route. I'm not sure why, because yeah, wireless is really good with this. We come down here and we have the shifter uh, for the eight-speed auto. We have traction control, uh, your camera options, your parking, and then we have the fun buttons. So the fun buttons are your sport, your comfort, eco pro, adaptive, and auto hold. Yes, so thankfully this does have auto hold for you know those stop and go moments in traffic. Uh, and then we have the big input device on the right side. Uh, it's been fine. I haven't needed to use this because this screen is actually pretty welcoming to touch. And you guys know how much I hate touching screens and I hate touch screens because you get your fingerprint on it, you get it dirty and it's, it, it's just a pain. But yeah, I haven't needed to use this because this is actually just a lot faster. So I do love that. We get to the armrest and the armrest is actually fairly nice. So there is a good amount of space in there uh, for you to put, you know, any any small items that you may want. Don't expect a big, big item, but yeah, it, it works. You do have a USB-C connection in there, which is, an, which is a nice touch if again, you have a different interface for your phone. We get to the back and we don't have my kid seat in this this week because uh, we did have double cars this week and the other one was actually a pickup truck way more comfortable uh but yeah this has the back seats yeah i totally forgot this had back seats because 
I've just been enjoying the forward, <laughs> anything full in front of me. Um, but yeah, so you do have that option. There's not much space, but there is space. There's more space than other two-door cars, I would say. Now let's talk performance. We have the 3.0 liter inline six, cranking out 389 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. This is going through the eight-speed auto and through the X-Drive system that this has. Now, a couple of things. Uh, this thing is really, really good. There are, uh, with the drive modes, that's probably my favorite thing about this, is it can definitely be a calming car and then a, you know, Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. Uh, because right now we do have it in Eco Pro. So what I do love about the, about the, options of the drive modes is you do have the drive modes but like eco here you can see you have standard and individual and you can actually configure that individual so if you do love the benefits of having the eco mode but maybe like let's see uh if we go ahead and and configure this uh we do have you know just some more uh, my favorite thing again is we have it in eco mode but how do you like the dampening do you do you prefer that to be you know comfort or do you want it sport so you still have the best of the eco of being economical but you have the flexibility of changing the other parameters in it uh, so yeah you do have that like i said and then we have so take a listen when we go from eco to comfort not much and then sport so sport is where you want to be to really free those horses and yeah this thing is amazing again i've already driven the previous generation m2 cs which is as we know the top trim of that model i feel comfortable in saying this is right up there with it and this isn't even an m a, a m car in traditional sense not just kind of like the looks package of you know the m sport kind of thing uh so we do have this and let me tell you it is really good <laughs> it is so good and it is so nice oh those downshifts just sound so good but this engine is just so good <laughs> oh my gosh and the brakes the brakes is where this may lack again we're comparing i'm comparing it to the m2 cs so those had massive carbon uh carbon ceramic brakes and they got you stopped on a dime this is this is almost there i say if they offer a, a brake package go with it on the m2 uh are we gonna get a, a manual transmission i don't know we only have word of the automatic which is good it is extremely good it shifts really fast and i have i've even put it into manual mode and kept it in manual mode where i've made it seem so i'm going to go into sport plus it's a little bit more dynamic or more yeah extra extra dynamic setting uh but it's i i love this transmission i don't again like i loved it in the m2 cs the the shifts are really fast and even the downshifts are rev matched so it's not like other cars where you downshift and it's just it just feels unsettling this works really well so <laughs> oh man it's just so good and, and and again just the the power deliveries they're at really any range with this it does have a mild hybrid so you do see like a little battery but it's it's almost non-existent really in the sense of of if you look at the meter because it just kind of goes a little bit and then that's it the tires on this are really good it's just overall it's such a thrilling car to drive my wife has loved this thing she says this is the next car i want you to buy yourself that says a lot <laughs> because she likes oh yeah it's just so good she likes sports cars and for her to we've driven some 
pretty awesome cars. And for her to say, this is the one I want you to buy is high praises. She loved the M2 and she said, yeah, that's the one you're gonna buy. But yeah, that $100,000 price tag on the CS was a little hard to swallow. Uh, so at least with this one at 56,000 or so, the way that this is equipped, it really is good. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's attainable. <laughs> and will I go M2 or would I consider it? I don't know. I don't know because this already is enough to get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, this is plenty of power to get me in trouble. And, <laughs> and again, what I love is that it has the X-Drive, so you are able to, you know, have this as a year-round car, uh, maybe change out the tires uh, on, on this because yeah the, those those we those tires summer tires are not fun in in <laughs> in colder weather which actually it is today colder but you know when we're talking about possible snow and slippery situations so this does help that out this is such a fun car i don't know how bmw is going to top this it's really hard to top this it really is for what it is obviously there's faster cars uh you know but this isn't really about just sheer speed it, it's about the sensation and i'm kind of glad that bmw kept it that way i feel like it's a uh, an evolution because the formula of the m2 was great going actually going from the m1 going from the m1 to the m2 was great going from the M2 to the second generation M2 is even better. I, I I am so, I didn't think I'd ever top something like the M2 CS. And I think this is right there parallel with it. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the BMW M240i. I've had a blast in this thing. I, I really want it. This is gonna be my next car. <laughs> Remember, find the right gear. See ya.